privilege white man. Warframe. Trove is. I have Trove. Oh, that's, that's nice. World of Tanks. Let's see. Gary's mod. Select. Complete. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Goat Simulator's cross platform. I thought the game was only single player. I thought it was. It's multiplayer. It's split screen. Oh, that's Bruh. right. It's got a co op mode. I forgot about that. It's split screen and they added a fucking like MMO in it at one point. Jesus. And it's still regularly updated on the PlayStation. Last update was four months ago. Let's see. Uh. Say War Thunder, we could all play one day. We could, or, and here's a thought, we could not. Do you not like War Thunder, Luigi? I mean, I'd play it, I just I don't care for it. I mean, if we do World of Thunder, I think, uh... <laughs> Spark. What? You had one job and you had... War of Thunder, not World of Thunder. War of Thunder, where else is... Ah, shit, my bad. Fucking you could tell how much I've played the game. Um, yeah, Goat Simulator's four player. <laughs> and it's got a fucking Goat MMO in it. You can play it. That's cross platform. I had to start it up to double check, and I can't. It's... Jesus. Right, let's cut. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, that's what's cool about SnowRunner. If you guys get it, uh, if the, as long as the person who's hosting it, has the DLCs installed, everybody can play the DLC for free. Literally a Paradox game. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like so similar I... to Hearts of Iron and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I have all the DLC that they have for right now. So I have like the fucking Canadian one, uh, the Russian one where you go find like the bomber and the other cars. The one, the newest one they added is actually pretty cool. You go fucking find a, like a, like a launch pad for a rocket, and then you go get one of those like Soyuz rockets, and you actually launch one to the fucking International Space Station. Really? Yeah. Huh. Damn. It's a pain in the ass though to move the rocket. I've gotten it like a quarter of the way across the map, and I've already just kind of gotten irritated with the game. Hmm. I got gotcha. you. Cut down the trees to make room. Fuck you and cutting down the trees. How about I just ram the goddamn space dildo into the trees? Because then you'll damage it and that defeats the whole fucking purpose. Here's a better idea. Why don't we build it and just take it in sections instead of taking one giant ass rocket over there? Nah, but you see, that takes too much time. By the time I get it there, when I've left the game 12 times, I'm getting irritated. <laughs> That is the whole point of Mud Runner and Snow Runner. That is literally the point. It is to piss you off and realize that Mother Nature is not to be fucked with. Mm. I will fuck Mother Nature all I want. Uh, Doubtful, considering she's been a book like setting your whole fucking state on fire. Ah, facts. You see, that's not a me problem. That's necessarily everyone else's problem. Feels like a you problem. You're the one that lives in California. Yeah. I mean, we could always just saw it off and let it sink and float off or do whatever it does. Literally saw it off by the fault by the fault line. Yep. And we could do it. It sinks into the fucking ocean like Atlantis. We're gonna need a really big power saw or a saw saw, but we could do it. You're retarded. You don't need either of that. You put some CO2 in the ground and frack that fucker in half. Oh, actually, you got a very good point. We could do that too. Or whatever it's called, fucking hydraulic fluid, whatever the fuck they eh, stick in the ground. It's a form yeah, of Yeah, because, yeah, because fracking has a lot more chemicals than just fucking CO2. Yeah, I was gonna say, it ain't so Why do you think so many people are opposed to it? It is because of all the chemicals getting into groundwater. <laughs> you go breathe a little bit of chemicals in your water. Alright, Luigi, I'm gonna slowly start moving and departing out of here. Just 
I think I'm gonna go waste more money tonight. Like? I'm gonna go buy an American tanker uniform. Jesus. What reasoning yeah. exactly? What? What reasoning exactly? Cause why not? Interesting. You see, I already have my finish uniform coming. Which I have the jackboots for, I just don't have the actual uniform, because goddamn Chinese motherfuckers. Mm. What era? Oh, World War II, Continuation War era. Gotcha. So I have all the... it's the M36. Or M38, one of the two, I don't remember which one it is, some fucking number. That's in the third, high, mid, thir mid to high thirties. Um... Well, considering the Winter War occurred in, like, I the Winter War, if I remember correctly, it occurred in, like, 37, so it was probably a third, it was probably 36. I think. Well, I have it on my fucking phone, why am I trying to think of it? I have the fucking... It has technology in front of it. Yeah. I have it has it technology. Instead of it. <clears throat> Here I come. Moving right along. Oh shit. It'd be, it'd be from the Continuation War to the Lapland War. Asshole. <laughs> so, the Winter War was 39 to 40. Continuation War was 41 to 44. And the Lapland War was 44 to 45. Oof. <laughs> I love how it just fucking popped over like that. Fucking lawsuit. I nah. M36 uniform is what I have. CNN would have the fucking field day. Yeah, the M36 came out in 1938. That doesn't sound right. That, that's what I'm thinking too, but it says, uh... They could just have their information wrong. That's usually what happens. When he goes to Wikipedia instead of, like, a direct source, like, you know, Finland. Mm-hmm. There's always, uh, what is it, you know, word of mouth that's always misspread or something like that. Dude, the entire Finnish, like, fucking thing of just World War II and the continuation war is confusing as shit reading it all. No, it's not. It's pretty simple. The Winter no. War... The Winter War was a conflict between Finland and the Soviet Union for some border territories, specifically the Karelia <laughs> region around Leningrad, as the Soviets wanted to use, wanted to push back the Finnish border as they were afraid the Germans might use it as a jumping off point. When the Soviets eventually won the uh, Winter I War, they, uh, the Finnish joined the Axis and, in a sense, continued the Winter War through the German invasion of the Soviet Union, which is why it's called the Continuation War. I get all that, but I'm saying it's like when you start breaking it down, looking at like the individual shit that's like going on in it, so like all their tanks and shit and the way they like classified them. And then, like, you realize that almost every Finnish tank was literally just a German model, right? No. Oh, a, fair amount, a fair amount, if not almost the entirety of Finnish armor was either stolen Soviet or German, like, lead lease. That's the <laughs> biggest tanks that would, like, the most common tanks were used were, like, the Stug, the, the Stug class uh, tank destroyers. So, what I learned, which is weird, is when the Finns ordered uh, the Stugs, they got them delivered, but they reclassified them and did some modifications, which made them the Stug 40. Probably because that model was made in 1940. No, so like, this is a continuation war and they got it, but they changed certain shit because they just called them the Stug 40 because they just made it the 40 series of tanks instead of naming it different shit. Like, how the Germans had like the Alf, 
like a different like model designations the Finns just decided fuck all that this is the model 40 this is what we're calling this this is fucking stupid So, it's like they're T-34s. Like the T-34-85, they didn't call them T-34-85s, they just called them T-34. They're literally like, okay, this is T-34-E, like e because it's got the bigger gun. I mean, that that depends on what source you're looking at. Technically, they did call them T-34-85s, and or just called them 85s, purely based on the fact that it was a distinctive version of the T-34, which had a 85mm cannon on it. That is the defining feature of that tank. Yeah, so like the T-34-76, its defining feature is it has a 76mm cannon. Yeah, it was like, when you get in the models of, like, the 1940, 1941, 1942, where the gun is the exact same, it's just the turret changes, they're just going to label it as fucking T-34. They don't care enough. They no, they sure. named them, the, they named no. them the model year. They, made, they named them after the year that they were modeled. So if there was a turn change in 42, then they would literally be called the T-34 Model 42. Sounds about right. This man has never played World of Tanks. I'm not reading fucking World of Tanks. Well, you know World of Tanks is made by a Russian company, right? Yes, so is fucking War Thunder. Yeah? But I'm not reading oh, World of Tanks. Yeah, yeah, but see, the thing is, is World of Tanks is only tanks. War Thunder was originally only airplanes, and then they added tanks. Why are you ships? logic into this? Because I fucking can. Just mad because bad. Every time I see your character clipping around, I think of that one Gmod meme the the guy no clipping around the skyscraper. <laughs> or somewhere in the city, it's something interesting. <laughs> Forget the name of it. You want me it's to like slow the down stuff for you? KV1 or the KVE. KV-1E, they used to literally call the KV-1B, and if it was a KV-1 that was a 1942 model, they just changed it to KV-1A because that was a superior model. And A becomes before B. Uh-huh. Silence. I ran out of shit to complain about. It's like beginning to wonder, am I dying or something? <laughs> no. Oh, your left hand running. That's uh, fine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, open the right doors. 
doors. Mm -hmm. uh, not the right doors. My perspective is screwed up a little bit. Sit here for a couple of minutes and then we'll continue on our way. Oh god, oh fuck, he's making defect detectors. <laughs> Do you just now notice that? He's been working on that for the last week. Yeah. Help has been working on a lot of things. Where have you been? Not on fucking Discord or Gary's one. Damn. Damn shame. Been working on radio towers, defect detectors, more locomotives of random shapes and sizes. Elf has literally just been focused no, no, no. on creating that. Fucking Elf, Magnum. Who cares about Magnum? He's literally the motherfucker who's providing you the track. We don't care about Magnum. We're looking to the future. Elf is gonna have a monopoly on SM box. Oh, you're looking at that signal box for track pack three that he's got that plays the sound. Yeah, I seen that. No, he actually made a fucking model for it. He posted. Oh, he made a model for it now? Yes, he's animating it so it actually fucking triggers if he, something's dragging and hits it. Ah. Matt likes living in the past. He doesn't like to perceive his future. Let's see. Oh, I see it right here. Interesting. Okay, time to get a move on. See, is that? Yep, door closed. Oh, Matt, did you know that uh, Cookie Clicker is on Steam for five bucks? Why would I pay five bucks for that when I go play for free? Because every achievement that's in the game is also a Steam achievement. And? Imagine getting an ace on that and having that on your profile. I'm confused. I don't need. He's so defeated. <laughs> Why? Why would I want to do that? I already have fucking girls on Panzer 100% on my fucking PlayStation. Why would I want. Who cares about the PlayStation? He's so defeated. Strong way. No, you're going forward. No, it's the gear selector. Florida, I get a 
notification for when something's going on. The Florida man strikes again in Florida. Who would have thought? Too bad the guy originally moved down from fucking Jersey. But people don't realize, like, Florida's fucked up because we get all of your stupid fucking people. Yep. From everywhere else. Especially the drivers. We get snowbirds, and then we get a lot of people who just move down here. All the fucking tourists. Like, if the United States is a melting pot of the world, Florida is literally a melting pot of the United States. Which is why we are so fucked up. Because we get everybody's stupid people. Sadly. We get all that tourist action too, and other people from other countries visiting. Yeah, because like, I would not be surprised if most of the people are like, Oh, we moved down here? Weird. Like, <clears> especially <throat> in my area, I noticed this when I used to work at a 55 and older community as a security guard. Um, most of the people that I end up asking are when did you move, like, where did you move from? Most of them were, like, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and the New England Territory. It's like, uh, one of the states fucked up. Over here, right? And we get all the people that pretty much hate each other. Oh, yeah. Over here where I'm at, the area I'm in, you get a lot of people from Indiana, Illinois, and Iowa. <laughs> Go figure that one out. Yeah, Indiana, Illinois, I don't know if y'all hate each other or not. Uh, I think Indiana and Illinois have beef with each other, but I personally don't care. I feel like it's just a sports thing. Yeah, it probably is. Iowa, I don't think Iowa cares. Iowa just exists. Yeah, they're just like... I don't think really anybody, like, like, I think everybody acknowledges Iowa exists, but they don't, it's just that, it just exists. Sounds about right. I wonder if there's a station here, but there's not. Let's see. Alright. Uh, don't, don't you find that ironic? What? That there's a station platform here, but there's not actually a station. What's right next to us? That is not a station building. The tan one is, not the brick one. It still doesn't look like a station. Yeah, go figure that one out. You know what that looks like? A hut? No, it looks like a, 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 a one floor, two bed, one bath. And you're not wrong. Let's see. And yeah, you're not wrong, it's just like a little... Like, this is literally, I think this is literally just the town. Like, the brick building here is probably like an industry or warehouse. Not big to be a... Or it could be one of those two, like, two houses in one where it's split half of Oh, a duplex kind of style thing? Yeah, I used to live with one of those where I lived in Centerburg. Yeah, these, these are a bunch of houses, and that is the tiniest building compared to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could be, yeah, they could be, like, duplexes or condos because you got beachfront property right over there. No, nobody has condos unless you're on a beach territory or you're in Florida. Condos just don't exist unless you live in the state of Florida, California, or along the beach. You got a point. 
If you go to Ohio, you probably will not find a place or something that people will actually call a condo actively. They'll probably just say, this is an apartment for rent. Second, I'm gonna be him and I need to use the loo for a second. Alright, I'll be right back.
Welcome back. Okay. Oh, Matt left. Yeah, we got rid of it finally. Oh, okay. Uh, train dude's still here, surprisingly. He's muted himself, though. The yeah, train dude has kind of disappeared. But yeah, it kind of sucks you have to now edit this. Oh, I already restarted it. Oh, you restarted it? Mm -hmm. Ah. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Now you yeah. just have two part streams. Yeah, the other segment's kind of unlisted for right now until I figure that out. Unless I just add it to if there's anything good in there, just add it to the highlights section. Section. Yeah. But whenever I do that, but. Let's get a move on here. Let's see, let me close the door. Yep. That was violent. That's a derail though. Oh, that's weird. Interesting. Did you feel that shake or see that shake? No. No. I kind of wasn't paying attention. Everyone. Jesus Christ. Good stop time. I mean, it is a light passenger, so I do have good... It also, it also is a jazz lock. Yeah, light fucking brakes lock up better than a semi-truck. Facts.
I don't think you. Uh. What? Yeah, you're going to have to, cause when you come up. Mhm. Mm you. Uh, I'll route you into the station. Oh, you want me to like back it in? I don't. I mean, you can pull it in. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably. I'll. Might just back it in, and then I'll. Detach the locomotive, throw the locomotive over to the ready track, shut it down, and then call it a good night. Um, before I go to Wolfram, though, I'm taking a stop at um, Dragon's Rock. Okay. Well, you can go back to Wolfram. Alright. Yeah, it's the last stop before Wolfram, and then you'll be good. And that's it. I don't normally stop at Dragons or Red Wall or whatever the fuck it is, so. Yeah. That was interesting to uh, run the Atrex again. Yeah. I yeah. don't care for the night map, but I mean, it was interesting. Yeah. Reason why, like I said, I threw it in here is because no one hardly uses the map. And plus, it was, it's a little bit of variety because, like, Matt and TK was saying way before, it's like. We're all out of fucking ideas. We're doing the same thing all over again. Yeah. No, I get that. So that's why I threw it on here. Let's see. Ugh. Damn. Japanese by the looks of it. Just typing in the chat. And I cannot read any of it, so therefore I cannot answer any of their questions, comments, or concerns. Who knew you get viewers from fucking Asia? I mean... I can't even click on the profile. I was gonna see, like, their profile. Could probably... somehow... Hold on. Oh, I can't... You could probably search it up in the... Probably search it up in the thing.
I'm not seeing anything. The so there's the profile, I mean, I'm looking, I'm, I used what's next to the profile picture. Translate. Translate. That's what I was Yeah, though I don't know how well Google Translate's gonna actually work. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Yeah, well I'm stopped here at the station, I'll do the same thing. Uh, it's showing up as Korean, the auto-detect. Oh, okay. Um, class, question mark? Oh, he might be asking what class of locomotive. Yeah, I'm looking at that, too. Uh, sub-account over there. Um. Hey, question mark? His name is apparently sub-account. Why don't you answer? Ah! Uh, well, the problem is I am using I English. Got, uh, it's the third one. Report this. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, face. And then what is this word? I'll go. Uh, so I guess he's leaving. And then... Hello. And then what's this? Oh, by the way, yeah, he down liked the video. Oh, I well, he couldn't understand us. So. <laughs> Why are you gonna watch something that you clearly don't fucking understand? I'm so. Confused. That's like that's like me going into like a Russian fucking stream and be like, oh, I don't like this because I can't understand, and try and talk in the English fucking language makes sense. Yeah, that totally makes sense, you know, because, you know, the Cyrillic language is, in alphabet, is totally the same as the Latin alphabet. There go figure. Oh, you already said People already are seen. really fucking stupid. Tell me about it. See, uh, someone's definitely been on the server before us, because they... Wait a minute, that was from you, never mind. I gonna say, you left your yard switches open. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, there we go. There we go.
that's better. Architect locomotive. Could take it to the shop over there. That'd be a perfect place to park it. hilarious.
goes off on its own adventure. That'll be perfectly fine. on its own adventure right now. Luigi, you still there? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, currently moving the locomotive across the yard and gonna back it into the transfer table and move it to the shed. Okay. I just uncoupled from the passenger car, so... Uh, are you still so streaming? Yes, I am. So. Wrong button. There you go. Turn that off. There you go. Passenger cars are off. Bada book, bada book.
that wrapped up. of the run. I think I'm going to call it a night with this stream.